Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, uh, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This video um, module will be about a firm size or the forces that lead to a firm being of a certain size and why firms uh, vary uh, in size. Uh, in this video module, we will bring to bear two lines of analysis. The first line of analysis was developed by uh, Ronald Coase uh, back in the 1930s. Uh, he asked the question, why do firms exist? Uh, he raised that question because it's quite conceivable that um, uh, every step of, of a production process could be uh, operated by an individual. Individual A produces uh, uh, part A uh, and then sells that um, uh, part in competition with other producers to uh, another uh, individual B who, who buys several parts from other individuals and then assembles it into a uh, product that is sold onto individual uh, C. And the whole process of, uh, of exchange could bring to bear the forces of, of competition that can minimize uh, costs. Well, uh, Ronald Coase's answer to the question of why firms exist was, was startlingly uh, simple. He said uh, uh, that there are uh, transactions costs out there in, uh, in markets and, and there are costs to using uh, markets. Uh, if in fact you're going to rely on markets, you must first off uh, find alternative sources of supply. That's not always easy. Uh, you have to get those suppliers to offer competitive uh, bids. That's not always easy. Uh, and then you have to um, make sure that the uh, supplier that you choose uh, actually fulfills uh, uh, the contract, that is, meets the contract uh, standards. All of these uh, uh, components of, of making market transactions are, uh, can be uh, very costly, and they uh, vary in costliness uh, by, uh, by industry. The other strand of analysis was developed by uh, Manser Olson in the 1960s. He basically said that small groups uh, uh, have a good time or an easy time of uh, cohering to pursue their, their common objectives. Uh, this is the case because in a small group, say a family of four, uh, each individual's contribution to uh, the, the objective of the family uh, is um, relatively large, easily noticed, and easily uh, monitored, and uh, the behavior of individual family members can be easily uh, corrected. That is, can be co corrected uh, at relatively uh, low cost. Large groups, however, have a, a much more difficult time of cohering and pursuing common objectives. This is because uh, in large groups, the individual's uh, actions are, in, are, are a small part of the total. They're the proverbial drop in the bucket. Uh, the individual himself may, may feel as though his actions are inconsequential in, in, in the context of the total. As a consequence, that individual may have very, in, very little incentive to pursue the, the uh, firm's uh, common or the group's uh, common objectives. Uh, the individual's um, actions are difficult to monitor by, by other people. Uh, and as a consequence, there are uh, problems in exacting penalties for misbehavior, abuse of, of group resources, uh, and so forth. The moral of uh, Mansur Olson's line of analysis is that as uh, the size of the group uh, expands, uh, then you should have uh, more uh, costs. You m may have more internal uh, coordinating costs, more costs of, of monitoring uh, employees, more costs of developing uh, pay uh, systems that uh, uh, ensure that group members uh, uh, pursue the common objective of, of the uh, larger and, and larger group. All of this is to say that as the size of the group expands, as the size of the firm expands, uh, principal agency problems are, are likely to uh, escalate. Now we can uh, uh, describe uh, these lines of analysis in terms of a, of a graph. This graph uh, has the uh, uh, cost of, of activities on the uh, vertical axis and the uh, size of the firm on the <coughs> horizontal uh, axis. We know that the uh, external coordinating cost, that is the cost of, of engaging in market transaction, is likely to be very high when the firm is, is small. But as the size of the firm uh, expands, those external coordinating costs uh, will likely uh, contract. Um, the reason the um, uh, external coordinating costs are likely to be high when the firm is 
is very small. It's simply that the firm uh, will be relying on external sources of supply for everything, which means it will engage, uh, will in experience high transactions costs. When in fact the firm uh, expands, it takes on more and more activities uh, inside the firm. It has fewer activities outside of the firm or with producers and buyers and so forth outside of the firm and the result is the market transactions uh, costs can uh, go down. On the other hand, the internal coordinating costs, which are suggested by the Mansur Olson uh, type of analysis, uh, expand uh, with the uh, size of the firm. So we have um, one curve uh, expanding, uh, one curve uh, uh, contracting as the size of the firm uh, experiences. 